This is a quick tutorial to help you get started using Multisim online simulation. So go to multisim.com and then sign up for a new account by clicking on sign up and then enter your nickname and then first name, last name, all the required fields. Uh, for the role, uh, you can select a student role and for the company, you can select UAU. Uh, then you enter your email address and password and then create account. Now I already have my account, so I'm going to log into my account. I have my credentials saved to my computer. So once you log in, you'll get to this page. Then you click on create circuit. And then here in this page, you can start in your circuit elements. So for example, let's add a resistor. Let's add a diode. Just like this. And then you can drag the diode away from the resistor if you would like. And let's add a power supply, for example. Now, uh, notice how the orientation of the battery is vertical. If you like, you can make it horizontal by clicking on the rotate arrow, like this. Now, uh, to connect the battery to the rest of the circuit, uh, simply move the mouse over the point and then click drag and then click again do the same thing on the other side click drag click again and then you can change the shape of your i mean the dimensions of your circuit let's also add a ground to our circuit let's put the ground right here Now, if you want to measure the voltage difference across the diode, click on the analysis and annotations and select the voltage. So let's put the positive side of the voltmeter on the left side and the negative side on the other side. Notice how I access the negative side of the voltmeter by clicking on the negative sign. Uh, now, let's also add an ammeter to our circuit measure the current. Now, notice that if you click on any of the circuit elements, you can also access the setting for that element, okay, by clicking the setting icon right here. And then you can change some of the parameters if you are instructed to do so. Uh, same thing for the resistor, but for the resistor, uh, there is also the value of the resistance, which can be changed from here without going to the setting menu. Uh, you can simply drag this so you can change the resistance here. Click on these arrows, change it slightly, or you can type the value that you want to use. So for example, let's use 2.2 kilo ohms and press enter. Now, let's say that my circuit is ready and I want to run my circuit and get my readings of the current versus voltage. So you can uh, do this by clicking on the start simulation or run, run simulation triangle, which is right here. And now you can get the voltage and current values. Let's say that you need to get the current and voltage values for different power supply settings. You can do this while the simulation is already running. Uh, by simply clicking on the 12 volt here for this battery and you can change it same way as the resistor. Or you can type, if you like, two volts or two millivolts, whatever the value you, you would like to use. Here is another example. If you are interested in uh, taking the uh, readings of this circuit, from an oscilloscope, for example, uh, by connecting the positive side here and the negative side here. 
Uh, so to do this, uh, you simply run the program as before, and then click on the grapher. It's going to show you how the graph would look like on an oscilloscope. Take a picture of the uh, graph or a picture of the schematic or a picture of both of them. Then you can do this by clicking on the export, where you can export either uh, the schematic image or export the grapher image, or you can export the actual data in uh, Excel format. 